27 general election. Only God knows who will be alive to contest the election, says Peter Obi. This is true. I want to align and agree with the person of Peter Obi because I just barely one year of this present administration of President Bola Tinibu of the ruling party APC. And now Nigeria's politicians are already agitating against 2027 general election. On who will win that election? Is that the issue to be handled for now? I want to agree with the person of Peter Obi, only God knows who will be alive to contest the 2027 general election. So, if you are just joining us, you are welcome to Bliss Channel. Please kindly do well to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. So guys, let's quickly hear the details of the report. The national leader of the Labour Party, LP, Mr. Peter Obi, on Wednesday said his concern at the moment is how to see Nigeria achieve her potential as an independent nation. Peter Obi, who had embarked on a tour of some parts of the country and carried out some social and education projects, explained that his mission has nothing to do with politics on the 2027 presidential election. As many Nigerians and politicians, we think. At a press conference in Abuja on Wednesday, the former Anambra state governor stated, only God can tell who can run for election in future, and that his interest at the moment is to see how the poor and how Nigeria can work well. He regretted that 70% of the weight of the country is in the hands of about 1% of the population, noting that if about 200,000 rich Nigerians could deploy their resources for the basic needs of the poor, the situation would not be as deplorable as it is now. Peter Obi equally called on governments at all levels to ensure that resource deployment is aimed at improving the life and the living standard of the poor and pulling them out of poverty. The former Labour Party presidential candidate stated that his humanitarian tour of some parts of the country has exposed him to the level of poverty in Nigeria and the abandonment of the people of the country, most especially the vulnerable ones. Peter Obi, who announced the completion 
of the construction of 10 boreholes in some states of the north for a short-term water supply to the people, said if 200,000 rich Nigerians could do the same just as he has done in the area of their choice, it would go a long way to serving the water needs of the people. He stated that the potentials he found among Amajaris in the Quranic school in the north was an indication that with a little and adequate encouragement and support, they could be catalysts to national development. Peter Obi also reacted to the allegations that he did not build any new school when he was governor of Anambra State, explaining that he met education's is shambles as school were closed and the state occupied 26 positions in the country. And according to him, he said, by the time he was living as Anambra State Governor, Anambra State was already number one in the country in terms of education and economic development. He then expressed confidence that the crisis in the Labour Party would be resolved amicably as soon as possible. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Please kindly feel free to like and share as you put your comments on the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thank you for your time.